Welcome to Wallatopia. We're going to go over the top 10 wallets that are under $25 for 2021. This spans the last three years, not just one year. So this will be the first time we do it. So let's get into it. First thing we always do is look at price. So let's take a look. These are all safely under 25 bucks. That's what we're reviewing. But look at this one for six bucks. Hang on and we'll talk about that one. Please take the time to subscribe, smash that like button for me. Now we're gonna walk through each of these wallets. What makes them unique? What makes them interesting? What makes them problematic potentially? So let's get into that. You can tell these come from a variety of vendors and all different kinds of makes and models, all different parts of the world, but they're all pretty inexpensive overall. So let's start working through each of these. Well, let's get them all out of the way here and start with our favorite, Moral Origin. I don't know if it's a favorite, but it's made out of cork. And cork is one of those materials that is renewable. That's what we like about it. And from that, you can see the features we have here, both the uh, exterior as well as interior, good for coins even if you want to put it in there. This is designed in and made in the United Kingdom. It's a great wallet from that perspective. And if we look at this a little bit closer, it's folded and then it has this brass nut and screw that holds it all together. And it really holds your cards fine. And you think it being cork, it's gonna fall apart, but it actually ages nicely and ha handles moisture, obviously, because it is made out of cork. Not a bad wallet at all. Now you have the Rustico Voyager wallet. It is a thicker cut. You can see the sewing on the exterior. And if we look at the interior, we have two card slots, uh, one on the left for cards, one on the right, also cards with a quick, uh, quick access thumb push. Uh, you know, six cards, five slips of cash, pretty good. I don't know what you think about this wallet, but I think there's that grommet in there that can catch your cards. It's also made in the United States. The simplicity of the design and high quality materials ensure this wallet will last a long time. Now we're looking at the Kinds Slim Wallet. Being a slim wallet, this one has a lot of pockets and slots. We've got seven slots, really one to two cards each. They overlap. You've got that quick access ID slot as well. And then in the center, you've got a slot for cash. You'd fold your cash once or it could pay, be available for additional cards. A lot of capacity. It's made from crazy horse. Oh man, who let that horse in here? Leather. And anyway, this is designed in the United States. It is made in China. It is a little wider than typical wallets, but that helps make it more usable for cash. And you can tell from the sewing here that it's sewn well. It's a mass produced product. We did do a carry test on this one and it held up really, really well. It either does well or it falls apart. That's really been our experience. So now onto the next wallet. This is the VBAX, super, super thin. You can get all kinds of cards and folded cash in here. And you can see there's an internal card slot. This is where the bulk of your cards go. And you can have a few in there. You can actually get a stack. And then right underneath it, you have a pull strap. And this is to put your most used cards in there. They all push from the bottom, pull out with that strap. And then on the opposite side, you have another avenue to put in cash. You just fold it twice, put it in there or more cards. Very, very compact. This is designed in the United States and made in China. And honestly, this wallet is your entry point if you've been interested in Trove wallets due to the inexpensive nature of this particular wallet. This is made from full grain veg tan Italian leather and it had the elastic has a very premium feel to it. And it does function well. I did carry this one. And I like the function, I like the design of this, so something to possibly consider. Now we have the Husk wallet. Uh, this one is a nice slim design. It has two external card slots for quick access, but also has an elastic pull strap to get to your internal contents. Cash folded twice, could either go on the slots or really on that interior. It is designed in the UK and it's made in China. It also has a lot of RFID involved in this one. And so you can see from the sewing that it's a wrap of leather that comes around and then is sewn around it. And from there, it has the same function uh, by way of uh, usability that we've seen with other type wallets. And it is also made of crazy horse, uh, yeah, another crazy horse leather one. A great wallet to try and look at. Now on to the next wallet, we have got the County Calm. This thing is amazing because it's only six bucks. But first of all, let's look at the paracord loop that is reflective. And then of course you've got your big zipper pocket. That's where you put everything. There's no organization there. It's just very simple. This could be used as really a EDC pouch as well. It is designed in the United States and made in China. It's made from high quality 1000 denier ballistic nylon PVC lined. And I'll show you here, it uses a YKK zipper. You can see that YKK zipper right here. High quality for what you get. Again, six bucks. How can you go wrong with this? Yeah, I, I use it for cables and other types of things. Great price, pick up 10 of them. Now to the next one. This is the Rainbow Wallet. And all I have to say is this. Oh yeah, love the Velcro, baby. Takes you back to the 1970s. This has all kinds of features to it. 
Nothing on the exterior, but when we go to the interior, you've got four card slots, one to three each, very flexible in what it can carry, ID slot there as well. And from there you go to the interior and you've got not just one billfold pocket, which can hold all kinds of currency, there's no uh, limitation, but a zipper compartment, additional currency, receipts, whatever it might be, wonderful. And this is designed and made in the United States, all of it for the price you get, fantastic. It's sewn all the way around. You can see that uh, the ribbon goes around all of the nylon so that it's secure, no issues there. And of course, being that it has a Velcro strap, this thing is not gonna go anywhere. And while you might have thought that the Velcro was gimmicky, it's not, provides all kinds of great security. Now let's move on to the Tom Bin, NYX Minimum Number One. Very simple in nature. It has this external elastic loop to keep things in place when you open it up. You have two interior card slots. There you go, six to 10 cards. You can put cash in there, fold it twice. Really not a big issue. This is designed and made in the United States. And it's made from 210 denier and ballistic nylon. So what do you think of this wallet? I really like it because it's simple. A lot of people don't like it because it's too simple. But the fabric is uh, not rigid. You can see I can just crumple this up. The rigidity comes when you put cards in it. Makes total sense to me. And if anything, you can just chuck all of your extra cards in here, put it in your backpack, whatever it might be. A great little accessory. So now let's move on to the flow fold. We love the flow fold. Again, unique materials. Let's look at the features here. Interior card slot, one. There we go, that's it. Capacity six to eight cards. Cash folded twice. This is designed and made in the United States. The fabric is a sailcloth with X-ply. Colors and patterns can vary, but this is recycled sailcloth fabric. I it really designed and made in the United States. You can tell that it's very well made. This will last a long time. Problematic though, because cards can come out of this if you're not careful. Now we have the Chanel Atlas. Great little footprint, all kinds of functionality. We go to the front here, we have where you put cash, folded in thirds or quarters, goes underneath this elastic into that pocket. Great place, holds it there, won't get out. Have the lanyard loop. Great thing if you want to attach your keys to it, put it to a lanyard for pickpockets. Then on the interiors where you have, they say up to 12 cards. I got 20 in here with no problem. And you've got that quick access pull strap so you can get them out quickly. Then on top, you've got a Velcro pocket, the miscellaneous area. This is where you can put keys, you can put SD cards, whatever it is, holds it in place. Fantastic little wallet. This is designed in the US and made in China. I don't know what you think about this little thing, but I love the size and all you get for it. Sewing is okay. It's got uh, RFID lining in it. It has uh, a nice protective lining uh, in the inside, which is microfiber. Uh, for such a small footprint, I don't think you can get any better than this wallet. Now let's look at the final score of all these wallets together. They all scored really well, but really the County Com 41, six bucks. Find one you like and make yourself happy. And there you go. That's a wrap up of the top 10 wallets under $25 for 2021. Hope to see you in the next review. Look at these videos here. See if they're interesting to you. See you. Bye.